Hi, I'm Eric Bloomer, your friendly neighborhood tile guy. In this video, we're going to show you how we self-level our bathroom floors when we need to increase height or just have a really flat substrate. This will be a complete tutorial on our end from sealing off the perimeter and establishing our grade, uh, measuring and mixing the, the uh, leveler and pouring it out and leaving it alone. So if you have any comments or questions, be sure to post those in the section below. If you've not done so already, we want to invite you to click that subscribe button, ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos, and be sure to check out some of our shorts. The very first thing that we're going to do is go around with our caulk gun and seal off the perimeter of the room. Uh, the self-leveling cement is very free flowing so it will get into every crevice and small area that it can find so we want to seal those areas off and make sure that we're not getting leveler into adjacent rooms or it's going into a crawl space or a basement you know just going places we don't want it and it doesn't take much uh, we just use whatever i have in the van usually some silicone or painter's caulk uh, anything will seal that area up good any type of caulking will keep the leveler inside the room we want to level and we just need to make sure that we're going thicker or higher than the uh, leveler is going to be. So we've got the perimeter of the room sealed with our caulking. Uh, the next step is going to be establishing grade. We want our finished floor to be even with the floor that I'm standing on outside the bathroom. So I'm going to mark on here where the Bath, or the bedroom floor is. So that gets us where we want to be. We know our tile plus our underlayment is about five eighths of an inch. Here's the bedroom floor. I'm going to go up five eighths of an inch. So this is grade. And this is what we're going to be putting our shims for the leveling uh, on. That to that mark. So you can see our laser line for grade we have a built with foam shim pack that we're going to use for our leveling uh, shims i'll set that on top and we're right on grade we're going to use these leveling shims quite a bit throughout this bathroom and we'll show you when we're done how many we used but that's the process that we're going to use to establish grade and we siliconed or caulked that guy down and we'll be careful when we apply our leveling, not to dislodge our shims. Our grade shims are in place. They're located around the perimeter of the room and about three feet apart, so we can walk in and out of the room without stepping or dislodging them. The next thing we're going to do is install the primer. The primer gets you straight out of the bottle. We're gonna use a, a little brush to brush the uh, primer on, and then we're gonna let it sit. I have a sped up portion of the video coming up here where you can watch the primer soak in. It turns pretty clear when it's ready for the leveler to be applied. This bathroom is 82 square feet. We know with the grade stakes, we're averaging about five eighths of an inch of leveler everywhere, uh, maybe closer to three quarters of an inch. So that's going to take 10 bags. We have five pre-measured buckets of water ready to go. They're going to, we're going to mix two bags at a time. So that's 11 and a half quarts of water per batch. All five buckets are measured out. One of them is already in our blue measuring bucket and we have all 10 bags of levelers staged up ready to go. So let's get these mixed and put them in place.
trying to lock the trigger. I can almost see the As we start to pour this leveler out, we do want to watch and be careful not to dislodge our shims that we've put in for grade. So we're going to try to pour right up close to those. We kind of buried this one closest to the camera, but it didn't move. And so we'll be able to scrape the leveler off the top and make sure that it's not actually too high for what we're looking for. We're going to take a mag float and kind of help push the leveler into the corners and get our grade established there. Self-leveling underlayment isn't exactly as the name sounds. It will dry with a taper on it, and so it won't actually seek complete level. But as thick as this is going to be, and as many bags as we're going to do, it will just about be truly flat uh, without a lot of work done to it. And you'll see that uh, in the next wrap-up video on this the next day when we put our straight edges on the floor. You can see how flat the floor is and just how well everything graded out. start coming back to your right yeah just like that and I'll try to work it up to the tops Kind of hoping we can do this okay. area Maybe. more. Yeah. Oh, yes, I'll manipulate it around some. Hold on a second. Or if you want to go to the yeah, left more. Could come in right in here. See that one is low. Oh, yeah. Pick this up. This will be the last time we can come in here. Start over there. Okay. Yeah, I see. Put a little bit more out there and I'll try to wiggle it somewhere. It looks like it's going to never mind. It went right up to the top. Yeah, dude. Are you going out? Because I'm going to dump it in that corner. I think so. Oh. Oh, it moved. That spacer did? Yep. Now one's loaded. Yep, sure did. Watch your left foot. Floated right up. Can we just pick it up? Can we? Can we pick it up? Uh, yes. Just set it on the... somewhere. Uh, that's why I was... I thought it was going to stay up higher. No, hold on. I don't think I've messed it up yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, you haven't broken the seal yet, so I'll just hold on to it. Yeah, it's going to be really difficult to try to pick it up. 
I gotta go to the right. It's flowing to the right some. We can pour the rest of it in if we can, even if it puts us a little bit high. Pour it in? Yeah. I think when it self levels out, you know what I mean? It's not going to add even a sixteenth of an inch to the floor. It's just too big of a floor. Okay, so we poured the leveler out yesterday. Uh, we're back today to uh, just kind of check and see how we did. So we got our laser back and uh, we can see that we're right back on our mark for where we established grade, and now we'll see how well we do on the upper mark as we check the floor. So right on the inside of the door there, we're pretty good. We might be a smidge high. And same way on that side, we're a little bit on the higher side. Actually gotta stay, you know, that's right on grade. maybe a 16th high. So we're up to maybe a 16th of an inch high, but the most important thing will be when we set this level down on the floor, we can see how there is no gaps under the level. And so the floor is nice and really flat and we'll have a really good surface to set our tile to. Again, if you haven't done so, we wanna invite you to click that subscribe button, ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos if you have any comments or questions about this video be sure to post those in the links below and remember with great tile comes great responsibility hi i'm eric bloomer your friendly neighborhood tile guy i am a certified tile installer located in the mid missouri area if you enjoyed this video i would like to invite you to click that subscribe button ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos and click the link above to watch the next suggested video that came up after this clip. Thanks again for watching.